Hello and welcome to another Bleistift video. And today I want to talk about the Tombow Mono Eraser. The idea is that this is the, the first video. And if there's an interest in this topic, I'll do a second video with more information. Okay, you probably have seen this eraser before. In Japan it's, it's quite popular. And the eraser itself was released in uh, 1969 in November. Uh, it used to be uh, a eraser that came with the uh, Mono 100 pencil. But at that point uh, in 69 they decided to release it as an independent product. In, in case you wonder, this is not a huge Tombow Mono eraser. This is just a pack of uh, 18 that a friend uh, sent to me at some stage. Yeah. They're quite popular. There are different versions around and when uh, Uniqlo had this master... Oh, is it called Masterpiece series? Oh, I'm not sure. Let me have a look. The, the Masters? Um, the brand's masterpiece, I think that's what it was called. Uh, when when Uniqlo, the Japanese clothing manufacturer, had this uh, series of T-shirts about different brands, they made also they, they also made one about the Mono One Hundred uh, eraser. So quite popular in Japan. But what's the matter with this one? No writing on it at all. Yeah. No barcode. Yeah. It comes in packs like this. And I think the idea is this is a special version you can take into an exam because it has no writing on it. Yeah. I think um, there must be a rule, at least in some places, that you can't take things with writing on it into an exam. Yeah, in, in the UK, for example, if you take a pencil case into an exam, it has to be clear, transparent, so that people can see what's inside. So yeah, this is a special version. Yeah, obviously, you can still recognize what brand it is, but no writing on it, so it can be taken into an exam. Here's a tiny version. This bit was already missing. Yeah on those uh, t-shirts that they also used up already a bit uh, what's the matter with this uh, tiny version quite clever it's magnetic in germany in the past you know more like in the 70s than in the 80s there used to be little bits of magnet you could put into a soap there was a plastic holder for your soap on the wall and you know you made sure the soap wasn't standing in its own water. I'm sure that was also common in other countries. Yeah. But with this being magnetic, I uh, don't want to move my phone around now, but yeah, you could click it to, for example, a lamp on your desk or somewhere that you always have a place where you, where you keep your eraser. So uh, quite clever idea. So yeah, performance obviously is quite good. It's a PVC eraser. Yeah, sorry. It's a PVC eraser. Yeah. So been around since 1969. So we'll have uh, anniversary this year. Uh, anniversary this year. We will have a uh, 50 years anniversary. And uh, yeah, there have been a new, a few more products over the years. And uh, yeah, if there's interest. I'll talk about um, I'll talk about other Tombow Mono Eraser products. Okay, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.